Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new AI music retime feature in DaVinci Resolve version 20. So it's really easy to use and it'll allow you to get your music to match your track perfectly. So just open your project as you normally would, get a clip and then drag a bit of music or something onto the timeline. So that's the one I'm going to be using there. As you can see, the clip is a little bit longer and we're going to adjust the music to match. So we'll click on the music track. So now we'll go over to the inspector panel on the right and we'll see a new option here called AI Music Editor. And there's two ways you can adjust the music here. So the first one is you can set your time manually. So if you want to make it longer, you can go to the end of the clip. So 238, we'll adjust this to 238, press enter, and the AI will go through, analyze the clip and adjust the length. As you can see, it's extended it a little bit not quite to the end and below that now you have versions so you have version one version two version three version four and each of those will change the track slightly so just pick the one that's going to work for your project so you can also do this in a different manner so we can extend that out fully then we can go to live trim and then go to adjust now whenever we drag our music it's going to adjust it automatically so as you can see it automatically adjusted to basically loop that clip and make it fit the clip length perfectly. One thing with this though, just make sure you turn off live trim once you've done this, otherwise it's gonna start moving things around. So every time you remove your clip, it's gonna adjust. And if you do have it perfect, you basically want it to stay where it is. So just disable the live trim section once you know your clip's perfect. So that's pretty much the entire feature. So just play around with it. You'll get used to how it works pretty quickly and it saves a hell of a lot of time trying to blend things in manually, which is sometimes almost impossible. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. If you haven't already seen it, make sure you check out our guide for the DaVinci Resolve version 20 AI audio assist. It's even better than this feature and it's probably the best feature in the last update. So make sure you check it out. Cheers everyone. See you in the next video.